Today we're talking to Altrincham Assistant Manager Neil Sorvel. Looking forward to uh, two tough away trips uh, over the next uh, few days against Notts County and Gateshead. But first of all, Neil, a big, big uh, day for the football club last Saturday. Our first win of uh, the season and there was a huge sense of uh, relief around the place after getting those three points. Yeah, uh, delighted to get the three points. It feels like it was a long time coming. Um, feel like we've got that monkey off our back and got, and got the first victory, which was good. Probably in terms of performance, I think we've we've played better um, than than we did Saturday, particularly particularly in the first half. Um, but yeah, uh, I thought second half, the period we had maybe for 20, 25 minutes. I know it's against ten men, but it's not always easy to break down a a resolute uh, kind of back five that they went into. Um, so for us to create the chances in the openings we did in that 20, 25 minutes, I thought we I thought we deserved a victory. It looked uh, for, for a long time in the second half as if um, Luke Ashby Hammond was going to deny us. He had a, a terrific, uh, terrific game, but, but in the end we got there. Yeah, like I say, you know, teams think it's easy. When you when you play against ten with a man getting sent off, but they almost become you know camped in more resilient, more workmanlike um, energy levels go up from the opposition. Um, like I say, it's sometimes you only get that one opening or that one opportunity. But I thought we had a, a really good period of, of twenty to twenty five minutes where we've created numerous openings. Um, Potentially should have scored before we did. We were unfortunate on a couple of occasions. Keepers pulled off some good saves. Um, so yeah, delighted to to get the win. Probably a little bit then disappointed with maybe the last ten minutes where we've allowed them to to get back into the game a little bit. But I think looking at the data across the game, I don't think they had a, an attempt on target um, in in the game. So from a defensive point of view as well, re really pleased with that. Yeah, human nature sometimes uh, kicks in and having having got ahead, we were absolutely desperate not to throw it away in the last few minutes. We did have one or two scary uh, and hairy moments. Yeah, well, look, in this league, and we, we're constantly saying it to the players against some of the more physical sides, give a free kick away anywhere in your own half cheaply and you know what's happening, there's a ball coming in the box which then can trigger a, a dangerous or a defensive moment that you've got to deal with. Um, you know, it's something we've been constantly on to the lads about that to prevent them opportunities for opposite giving opposition an easy opportunity to just to put a ball into our box. And it got, got us off the bottom of the table, and it's really tight now at, at the bottom. Four teams on eight points, and eight clubs uh, covered by just uh, two points. So there's an opportunity there for all eight clubs to sort of kick on in the next uh, couple of uh, of games and break out of, of uh, that pack. Um, but it does look a really tight tight league uh, this year, with the exception of the maybe three or four uh, top teams uh, at, at the head of the league. I think it was always going to be. You know, you look at um, the two teams in the North League who've come up, so York and Gate said they were already set up as as full time teams. Um so they've all already got their structures in place. Um Maidstone I think are a are a hybrid team. So they're already, you know, organised to to go, to go full time. Um so from that point of view it was I think it was gonna get tougher. You you look at someone like an older shot, I think their recruitment's been been really good this season. Um or in the summer, you know, it's, they're a lot stronger than they were than they were last season with the personnel they've got. So that's and that's just one example. And one of the uh, benefits of full-time football is, uh, particularly when we haven't got a midweek game as we haven't had this week, is we've got all week to prepare and we certainly uh, will have needed all that time this week because Notts County is a, is is a big big challenge. Yeah, it's tough, you know, the, it's, it's one of the, the great places to go, isn't it, in the league with the facilities they've got and the stadium they've got, you know, going away to a Wrexham, a Chesterfield and Notts County. Um, it's a great experience for, for our players going to these ex-football league clubs. Uh, we know the challenge that lies ahead of us, um, just like it is when you go to any of, any of the bigger clubs. Um, really good side, play some really good football, lots of threats all over all over the pitch so uh, defensively uh, we know to, we need to be right and then hopefully that'll give us the, 
the platform for our attacking players to go and cause some damage at the other end of the pitch. And whilst they play a different shape to us, the the style of play, the 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 um, the, the DNA of the team is, is quite similar to Altrincham. Yeah, they play, look, they, like I said, he plays some real good stuff. Um, move the ball quickly, play it through the thirds quickly. A lot of good technical players in there. A lot of players who can hurt you. They can hurt you in different ways. Um, so we've got to be be heightened to them threats out of possession, and then hopefully. In possession, hey, we're, we've, we need to be sharp and on our day to be able to to retain the ball and, and, and create them openings for ourselves. It appears from from watching interviews uh, on Notts County that the difference between them last season and this season is the intensity of the of, of the training, and that probably means that we're going to have to be very very on our metal, very very sharp when we haven't got the ball. Yeah, definitely. The, um, the, the counter press from them has been really effective. So when when they when they do turn the ball over, and they, they, they tend to have a lot of position uh, possession. Sorry, when they do tend to turn the ball over, um, they're on you and they're after it straight away. You can see that from the the third goal they scored last week against York, where they've gone and pressed and harried the centre halves. Um, I think they're a lot more clinical as well this season in terms of the opportunities they've had. Um, they've got a lad up top, isn't it? Who's, who's at the minute the top scorer in English football, isn't he? Um, so I hey, full credit to him. Like I said, they're a, they're a really dangerous side, so we need to be at our best to get anything out of that game. Yeah, Macaulay Langstaff, we came up against him and Kedwin Scott uh, last season when we played Gateshead in the FA Cup, and he scored twice, I think it was, uh, in, in the replay. And both of them look very, very good players, uh, but they've had a fantastic move now. And, and well, particularly Langstaff, he, he's, he's on fire. Yeah, he's he's um, he's lethal, isn't he? At the minute, he's sharp. He's, he, uh, he works his socks off all game. You know, this our centre halves need to be aware that they won't be given a, a second with him. Um, and he makes good runs off the last line of the defenders. So, um, yeah. I, not only him, like I said earlier, there's, there's lots of good attacking players, really good technical players in their squad. Um, so yeah, if we can get our defensive structure right, then that maybe gives us a gives us an opportunity moving forward. And Notts County play Wrexham on Tuesday when we travel to uh, Gateshead. So that's obviously a huge, huge game in their season. And whilst maybe uh, the fans might be focused on on Tuesday night, I'm sure that. Uh, uh, Notts County, the, the management team there, Luke Williams and whatever, will be uh, will, will, will be very much focused on getting three points tomorrow. Yeah, you would imagine it. You know, it's tough when you're playing Saturday, t- uh, Tuesday with the turnaround. Um, some teams will juggle the squad. Uh, some teams won't. But I, I'm sure, just like any club does, you just fo- you you focus on the on the next game, the immediate game. That's your priority. Once that's done, then you move on to the next one. And. Whilst we go into every game looking to get something out of the games, Notts County is one of the toughest assignments that we're going to have uh, all season. Gateshead on Tuesday night will also be a very uh, tough assignment, but it's important that we get something from from, from one of those games. Yeah, look, the the two really tough games, like I say, you focus on the first one, get that one done, then move on to the second one. But I think Gateshead are... um, Obviously, similar to us in terms of the lower end of the table, but if you look at the data, uh, similar again, similar to us in terms of what the points should be in relation to the opportunities they've had, they should be further up the table. And we know from coming up against them um, twice last season, probably had the better of us over again across the two games um, in the FA Cup tie last year. So we know that's going to be another real difficult game. And in terms of the way the the, the league is uh, shaping up, um, it does look as if Chesterfield, Wrexham, Notts County, Solihull have dropped off a bit, but we would expect them to be up there, and and, and possibly they might form a, a breakaway uh, breakaway group, possibly with one or two others. But apart from that, I don't think there's a team in this uh, division that uh, we're not capable of competing with um, consistently. No, we've um, look. You'd expect the, the the four big guns, if you like, to be to be up there in the air. Um, you know, beyond that, I think we're more, we're more than capable um, competing against any side in the league. I mean, if you look at uh, the game against Dagenham, 
um, two weeks ago. Looks like we've been, you know, we've been defeated 4-1. So the scoreline doesn't look good, but it doesn't reflect the game. You know, during that game, at various moments, we had opportunities. I think we had two good chances before um, they scored at 2-0. 3-0, 3-1, we've had opportunities um, that we should have taken to get us back into the game. I always look at that and reflect on when we went the, the, the previous season. I think we were down 2-1 at half-time and they had two really good chances to put us to bed. They don't take them and then we come into the game last 20 minutes and take our opportunities. So it's, it's about us being a little bit more clinical um, at both ends of the pitch at the minute and, and that'll change a lot of the outcomes for us. And having got our first uh, victory of the season, we're now looking for our first away win of the season. Um, and when you look at some of the, the, the positive aspects of our away performance, I thought Bromley was a very good performance and also also Boreham Wood. They're two teams just outside the uh, the top the top four um, and, go, and going very, very well. So there's, there's, there's plenty of encouragement there for the, for the games coming up in what's going to be a really busy month, October. Yeah, like I say, I think generally we've... We've looked okay in the majority of the games. Like you said, Bromley's a really good away point. Boreham Wood's a really good away point. So we've shown that um, when we get it right defensively um, and we stri- restrict the opposition, we give ourselves a, a chance of winning a game. Um, so that'll be the case going in, into Saturday. Can we get that defensive um, organisation right um, to give us the platform to, to then show what our attacking players have got at the other end of the pitch and finally uh, Neil um, we played Notts County three times we haven't got a result there yet but I thought in two of the games the the what the game that was covered our first away game back in the National League that was covered on BT uh, Sports and also the FA Trophy game I thought we played quite well and they were two very very competitive uh, games not so good in the game at the end of last season but it's a little bit of an experimental uh, side Um but they're the sort of team where we have adapted our, our shape and, and our style um, previously. Is that something that's been on yours and Phil's mind this week? Potentially, look, we've looked at a, a few different things, but we uh, as much as you can, you want to play uh, the shape that you play. Look, regardless of what shape we play, this, our style of play is not going to change. Um, we have a defined way of wanting to play and, we, and we'll play that way regardless of, of, of what shape we play. Um, like I said, we we we're mindful of what they've got in terms of an attacking sense, but we we also want to have that ability to to carry a threat. Um, I think the the previous two last season when we played them there in the trophy game and the, the game at the end of the season, um, we've done okay in the games. Um, I think the trophy game we were well in it, and then the the league game we were we were nil nil at half time, and then silly mistake after half time cost us that that's that's the issue when you're playing against the teams with the, the talent they've got and the bigger clubs you know you fall off one minute whether it's getting done on a 1v1 whether it's getting done on a given goal whether it's not tracking your runner if you fall off once then you and they punish you um, and that's County have certainly been doing that in most games this season That's the thoughts of uh, Altrincham assistant manager Neil Sorville ahead of Saturday's uh, very tough-looking encounter with uh, Notts County at Meadow Lane, which kicks off at 3pm.